Our correspondent going face to face with the young woman at the center of a prostitution scandal that has exploded in the tiny, idyllic coastal main town of Kennebuck. Alexis Wright runs a Zumba studio that police say was doubling as a brothel. She has stayed mum since the scandal broke, but ABC's John Schriffen tracked her down. Hello, is anybody home? For someone who lives such a public life on the internet. <laughs> It wasn't easy tracking down the former Zumba instructor at the center of the controversy that has gripped a small town. Did you run a prostitution ring? You know what? I will pick up the phone and I will call the police. At her home in rural Maine, Alexis Wright had no comment after being arrested and charged earlier this week with more than 100 counts of prostitution and invasion of privacy, allegedly running a sex for a hire business out of her dance studio in Kennebunk, Maine, and secretly taping many of the encounters. Her alleged business partner, 57-year-old Mark Strong. Not guilty. His attorney says there is a list of more than 100 Johns that could be made public, but claims his client had nothing to do with it. I'm told that there's police officers and firemen and accountants and TV personalities and lawyers. The anticipation has now consumed this picturesque New England town. Do you want to see the list yourself? Absolutely. Why is that? Because I'm curious, just like everybody else in town. The judge has said that she won't block the release of the names, but that decision has been appealed to Maine Supreme Court. In the meantime, many are bracing for the fallout. How do you see this story affecting the kids of this community? I think the teenagers are a lot more aware of it. Um, you know, they, some of them feel very passionately that the names should not come forward. You know, some of them are worried about it. Some of them are worried about the effects on the town. I mean, my own daughter, you know, is in the high school and has had people, you know, really angrily say to her, you know, it's not right that the papers are going to print this. It's not right, you know, what your mom is going to do. But Laura Dulce says it's her duty as a journalist. And with her skyrocketing readership, the public is demanding it. John Schriffen, ABC News, Kennebunk, Maine.